welcome to another episode of the Journeys of Not So Ordinary People podcast. I am one of your hosts. I'm Dr. Joe Hamlet. And as always, I've got my co co host with me, or I'm a co host too, but Dave <laughs> Feltz. Uh, so, how are you doing, Dr. Dave? <laughs> Most excellent, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> well, um, thanks for all of you who are returning, uh, or if this is your first time, thanks. Uh, for tuning in to the Journeys of Not So Ordinary People podcast, uh, where me and Dave talk about our journeys. Hopefully this leads to uh, maybe helping you along your journey. Um, you know, this whole podcast is about helping you with personal development, career development, pr professional development. So all those uh, developments uh, that help you get to that next level. So with that, uh, we want to jump right into the topic. So as always, um, one of us introduces the show or the podcast and the other starts us off on the topic. So today's topic is how far will you go? How far will you go? How far will you go? Let's let's preface this and we'll say within the legal confines <laughs> right. of the law, you know, <laughs> right. that could be a really bad tangent to go down. Um so how far will I go? I will go as far as I need to, and then some. You know, I'm okay. I'm kind of an overachiever. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. You know, so I'm always going to do as much as I can to, within within you know time constraints or or um, you know physical constraints or scope com constraints or of a project or or whatever. So, um, and you and I have talked about this before offline. You know when. Sometimes um, when you really love what you do, you tend to, to to have a higher tempo. You go a lot quicker because you you know you know how to do it. You know it's uh, like an artist painting. You know someone might paint a picture and it'll take them you know a hundred hours, and another person who's really good at it might only take them ten hours. Right. So um, you know to me, it's I will go as far as I need to go to accomplish the mission, or until it's no longer needed. You know. Right. But the other thing we have to keep in mind is we also have physical limits and mental limits. So we need to, we, like we talked about before, is recharge our batteries. So for me, I would do just about anything. Again, the preface of staying within <laughs> the legal confines of the law um, right. to, um, to, to do what we need to do. Um, but there again, the caveat is physical and mental constraints too, because we can't just burn ourselves out. That's, that's, that's not a long-term solution. And uh, it shouldn't be an expectation to, you know, burn your staff out. So for me, you know, I'll, I'll I'm willing to go just about anything, just about anything. <laughs> I used right. to travel a lot and not so much anymore. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm kind of an all in kind of guy. If I'm into, if I bought into the mission and the vision, I'm there, you know, I'm, I'm a team player and I'm a leader and whatever it takes. So um, the question then becomes, how far would our audience go? And we're going to actually break this down a little bit because it's easy to say you go as far as you need to, but what does that look like? Are you willing to stay up for seven days straight, which we do not recommend at all. Right, that, right. You know, or right. are you willing to go without water for a month or food without, you know, without food for two months? Some of those things are just not feasible or healthy or safe. So, you know, what does that really look like when we say, well, I'll go as far as I need to. I'll go as far as I need to within our, within my physical and mental constraints and, right. you know, and, th and that includes, you know, work-life balance. That includes, you know, you know, weather constraints, you know, I'm not going to drive through a blizzard just to get to work. It's, it's right. nonsensical, right. you know, not that we have blizzards in the desert Southwest, but well, sometimes we do, but you know, um, yeah. So we really need to understand what does that mean when we say, well, how far will you go? I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah. But what does that really mean? So, Right. I'm going to pause for a minute because we can really start opening this box up real quick. Right. Yeah. You, you touched on a lot of different things, Dave. And and so kind of to your point, uh, I'm kind of the same way when it comes to, you know, how far will I go to achieve a goal or to reach a milestone or to complete a mission? Um, and, and again, in those um, non, <laughs> um, you know, you know, or, or legal um confirmations or legal standards so yeah just like you i i when i 
you know, accept the challenge or if I say I'm going to do something, I am all in. I, I'm yeah. going to, you know, give you everything I got. But you're right. I, I think one of the things that needs to happen first is, you know, what is define where you're trying to go. Um, and so what what does that look like? So what does it take me to get to that mm -hmm. uh, end state or achieve that goal? And that could determine whether, and, and we talked about this before we came online. It, so if you're playing a sport, does that mean if I want to be a superstar, do I need to get up in the morning, you know, practice before practice, mm -hmm. uh, the official practice, then after the official practice, do I stay late? So those are some of the things that I have, have to consider if I want to get to whatever that thing is, or if I want to accomplish that goal. So I think that that's part of it is defining what that looks like, because again, depending on the situation, the, the goal you're trying to achieve, you going all in or giving everything or how far you'll go could be just way over the top. Yeah. You know, you could, you could volunteer to be your, kids coach uh in a, in a little peewee league or you know some type of small league and then you bring in you know professional coaches mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah you've gone all in but is that too much uh, yeah. so so it, it really you still have to define uh, where you're trying to go because that will help you kind of identify how far i need to go yeah. because like and, you said and, and i think we all have that that um space in our mind where we're like well we, that self-care self-preservation thing so it, it's real i think it kind of goes into i'll go as far as i absolutely can before it becomes a detriment to myself right, right. or before yeah. or before yeah. it becomes not feasible to the a absolutely it, yeah it did again if you if you're a little league coach and then you go pay for uh, professional coaches and all that uh, and all you're gonna win um is, is a you know, youth league trophy mm -hmm. is, is that that becomes that detriment, you know, is that too much? Am I, you know, taking out a second mortgage to, to get these professionals and things like that. So it really, you know, understanding where you're trying to go will help you align with what, what it should take for me to get to where I want to go. And, and it's an important question that we need to consider because companies now, um, especially over the last several years, you know, they're, some of the requirements are for people to come back into the office. Well, right. if you're working remote from another state, that can be a very big challenge. Right. You know, yeah. travel 2,000 miles or to move or to move to keep your job or to move yep. to get a promotion. And maybe you get that promotion, maybe you don't, but you've disrupted your family, your life, your home, your presence right. in that community. And you may not receive anything for it. You know, it may be an empty promise or an empty gesture. So when we say, how far will we go? We also need to put things into perspective. Right. You know, who's asking? Is it your company? Because a lot of times people that, that are, you know, employees are, unfortunately, are just numbers. You know, if one goes, they'll, they'll bring someone else in. So at right. what point do you decide whether it's a detriment or whether you're, you know, looking through things with, this is an old, old uh, adage, rose colored glasses, where you're not seeing the whole picture. You're not paying attention to those red flags. And you're, you're just so into the moment of, Oh, I've got this opportunity. I'm going to take it. But you haven't really thought about it to see what it means. Right. Well, yeah. you're going to have to give up everything, you know, and you're going to start over. Are you prepared to do that? You right. Know, what does that starting over look like? You know, that's why not everyone joins the military, because when you join the military, you give up everything. And sometimes that sense of self to become a member of the military, you know, because they build you up a certain way. So, you know, when we say how far will you go, how that's what we're talking about right now. What does that really look like? Who's asking that question? What does it really entail that you're how far when you say you're willing to do everything? How far will you go? So, Well, well back to that, you know. You know, example you gave as far as moving cross country. So, yeah, if you're willing to do that, uproot your family, you know, move cross country. So I, I think it all still um, it's really dependent to on is that aligned with where you're trying to go? Be because, yeah, you, you may it may like you say, you may have to adhere to or, you know, compromise a little bit to stay with the company to, to continue to earn a salary. But um, again, are you willing to do that and forego everything else? Um, so is it really, does it make sense? You know, again, are you just going to do that for a year? Yeah. 
and then and then consider moving back. So so the, all those things need to be considered when you're thinking about okay, how far will I go? Uh, even with an organization, yeah. if 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 you use it as a stepping stone, yeah. you know how far are you willing to go down that path mm-hmm. to get you, you know, to the ultimate goal that you want to get to or achieve. Uh, but you you play the game uh, right. just to maybe get you the experience you need right, or right. to get some alignment with another organization. So uh, again, all those broaden things. your knowledge base. Maybe it's right, a, exactly. From the military to TDY, a temporary duty assignment where right. you know maybe you go someplace for a couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of months, and then you come back with that experience. Or right. is yep. is that a longer term solution that the company wants you to do to physically uproot yourself? and go someplace completely different that you may not right. want to go for an opportunity. Um, yep. you know, and, and whether it could, doesn't matter whether you're single or, or with family or whatever, it's just, you know, those are things that we have to understand. Are you prepared to do that? And are you willing to do that? And is it, it how far will you go to what extent? Right. And what if, what if, you know, it doesn't work out, then what do you do? So you have right. to think about yep. these things when we're, when we say, how far will you go? How far will you go? You have to think, how far will you go? How, what is the extreme that you'll go? And should you go right. to that extreme or what is 80% of what you, where you want to, you know, is your 80% a hundred percent or is your 50% a hundred percent? So understanding the scope and complexity of what the ask is, how far will you go? These are things you need to consider. What is the geographical climate? What's the, what's the um, demographic climate? What's the social climate? What's the economic climate? What's, you know, all these different things we need to consider because you know, it, it, we've been in situations before where we've had to acclimate someplace that we're not comfortable with, but how uncomfortable right. are we willing to be? How far outside of our comfort zone are we willing to go and for how long? What, and how will that change us in a positive and negative way, potentially? So so going back to both of our opening statements where we said we're, you know, we're willing to go over the top, do what it takes. So, so those are some of those hard considerations we also need to make uh, versus just saying, Hey, okay, you need me, I'm going to do it. And, and, and that's so, you know, that's, that's buying or, you know, accepting all of that, that you just said that, you know, that everything that goes along with it, I'm on board. So we really, I think we have to be careful when we say mm-hmm. we're, we're willing we're to in, go yeah. all the because way. Yeah. You're all in. I'm pretty sure it's different from my all in. Exactly. Which is different from your all in. Exactly. So, so, so I think that, again, it goes back to that defining uh, what that really means uh, and really understanding all those other things, the variables that could affect that. Uh, like you say, the climate, the, you know, in my case, I was going to, company wanted me to move to another um, location in, in the country and just looking at some of those things, you know, the, the school system for my kids, you know, the environment they'd grow up in. And I, and I declined because mm-hmm. it, it wasn't, again, I'd maintain a job, mm-hmm. keep a salary, continue my pension, all that, but at what cost, at what you know, cost, yeah. right. So what was I going to give up mm-hmm. to, um, you know, move with the company and, and again, so, so that's, that's some of those considerations that ha- should be made when you're yeah. saying I'm all in and, and I, you know, whether it's an organization or whatever it is, um, it, it's, mm-hmm. you really need to define what that is for you, uh, your circumstances. Cause like you say, I mean, you may have that same, same opportunity, which a lot of us did in that particular case, not all of us chose to do it uh, right. just because we had different, uh, ideas of, of yeah. what that all in mm-hmm. meant for us. It, it reminds me again, and I, and I know I keep going back to military training, but it, it reminds me of military training or even some of the survival shows that are out there. How far will you go? You know, right. when you yeah. think about that, how far will you go? You know, and some jobs in the military are not as pleasant and kind as other right. positions. Are you willing to go that far? Are you willing to starve yourself for 60 days or 100 days or, you know, diminish your calorie intake and live out in the middle of nowhere in a, in a, in a, in a dirt, you know, hole. Right. Yeah. To get to the next step. And for how long are you willing to do that? I mean, and some of it boils down to training. Some of it's just, you know, mental preparation. Sometimes it, it's, it goes much deeper than that, you know, and you have to really think about, you know, when we say, Hey, we're all in. Yeah. Well, it's easy to say that I'll give right. 110%. <laughs> you know, I'm all, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm an all in kind of guy. Well, I am. But what is my definition of, of, of that? Like I said, because, right. you know, it, 
you know, some people's definition of all in is like, oh, I'm an expert in this. I'm going to go all in. And they get into it and they're like, oh, heck no, I'm not doing that. Right. And there's someone yeah. else like, I have no idea what I'm getting into, but I'm all in. And then they wind up going the whole distance. Right. You yeah. know, so it just depends. One person isn't better than the other. It's just what is that skill set that they bring and how far are they willing to go to accomplish that? You know, um, and what does that what does that look like? You know, what's to what we've already mentioned, what sacrifices, what investments right. are you going yep. to make? You know, yep. how is this going to affect your psyche? Because like I said, in the military, there are some jobs that are not so pleasant. And, you know, how is that going to affect you as a person in your core, your ethics and morals? How far are you willing to go? You know, and right. some people say, well, you know, stabbing someone in the back at, at work is just part of promoting. Well, right. is it yeah. or isn't it? It's, it's not necessarily illegal to throw someone under the bus. Well, figuratively throwing someone under the right, bus, not, right. not literally throwing someone under the bus, but, you know, to, to go to that far to, you know, maybe take advantage of a person at work. It's not illegal, but where does that fit into your moral and ethical compasses, you know, and right. your, your, your true North that we've mentioned before. So, you know, well, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get promoted. Dave, I don't care. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to use them up and throw them away. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's not the kind of moral compass I have, but to other people, right, that's just right. part of doing business. That that is the reality, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and I, you know, you hear this term a lot, and uh, people say it uh, like it's a means to an end. Yeah. Um. And 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 like to, just to your point, some people may willing to endure some of those sacrifices, some of those other things, to because they still see that end goal in you know, mm -hmm. in their in their sights. So. Mm -hmm they may be willing to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but one, one thing, again, when we think about going all in, we also have to consider, you know, those around us, our, our, yeah. our spouses, our families. And, and so that. Friends, it, our it, network. That it, exactly. That, you know, the, if someone well, thinks highly of you, I mean, and, and looks up to you, it, it, is what you're going to do going to have a positive or negative impact. Right. On right. Yeah. And, and I, I really, it really kind of hit me in the face when, when I thought about kind of re, uh, took a look at my military career, just thinking about, you know, up, up to retirement and, you know, me raising my hand and, and, and again, re-enlisting multiple times, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times I, I hadn't had that, you know, conversation with the spouse, with the family and say, Hey, I'm, I'm going to continue this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was almost like I would come and say after the fact, Hey, yeah. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and re-enlist again, yeah. but but you know now if I go back and think, uh, it probably should have been the other way around. Have yeah. the conversation yeah. and, and then go in there and say, okay, I'm gonna re-enlist. Yeah. So you know, a, a lot of times, uh, you know, in my past, I, I took it for granted uh, that you know the all in was only me, and it yeah. wasn't uh, because there you go. Yeah, yeah that's, that's hitting on it. Yeah, because again, when I volunteer to to go all in mm -hmm. that meant that i was going to deploy i was going to be away from home i had this commitment but at the same time it not only affected me it affected my family mm -hmm. uh you know the friends you know my close network those people uh so I, that's also should be that also should be a consideration when you're thinking yeah. i'm going to go all in mm -hmm. we also have to think about who is going to affect how it's going to affect them as well yeah. One of my, one of the opportunities I had in my career was to work with at-risk youth. And um, it's interesting because when we talk about all in, you know, I was all in, you know, you're there to, to help these kids and, and young adults, you know, find their way or to correct their path. Right. And then, you know, what happens when that program or that funding gets cut? What, how does that impact things? You know, you're, you, you're all in, but is your leadership all in, right. you know, because, it's easy to say, well, we're just going to, you know, we're going to put you over here. Or we're going to take you from this. We're going to stop this program and allocate to that program. But what is the, what is the impact that you're leaving behind? What is right. the statement you're leaving behind? Oh, you're important until I don't, you don't need to be important right. to me anymore. You know, are you bringing those people with you or those teams with you? Are you, you know, still associating in an unofficial capacity to, to um, work with those people or to do a handoff to help ensure that the those groups of people or the the people that you're working with are still have some representation you know because you know being a a, a child of divorce it, it sucks you know having to lose right. a figure that you finally trust someone enough to say hey this is this is an opportunity and then they poof they disappear you know because it, 
they either told to or they opted to do something else. So, you know, again, when we talk about how far will you go, some people are willing to step on other people to get to, right. to the means yep. to the end, and and they're proud of it. Those are notches in their belt. Those are con accomplishments and conquerships that they've that they've you know look how look how, how you know look look at the wake of devastation I've led to get to here. That's what I that's what I was willing to give up. Was it or did you enjoy it? <laughs> because I right. know some people right. who you know in the HR realm, you know discipline and, and discipline. Uh, is not an, a a fun thing to do and a lot right. of people don't like it but i've met a handful of people who just absolutely love giving disciplinary and termination yeah. talks and it's like is that a good thing or a bad thing well it just depends how far are you willing to go right you know what yeah. is what are you really i mean have you thought about it? we go back to that critical self-reflection you know does that mean you're going to go to the extreme and that extreme will change you in a very negative way for the rest of your life have you thought about that or it's going to change your path to a critically positive direction that's going to totally change your life how is that going to affect you you know i think about right. people who win the lottery you know and you hear the stories oh they won all this money and all of a sudden they have friends that they haven't spoken to in many right, years right. you know are they really your friends you know um so think about things you know that's we, we say that a lot think about things reflect understand delve deep into what your goals are what your ambitions right. are you know is this going to have a positive or negative impact is that impact going to be temporary or long lasting right you know it, when you, when you're talking about you know the hr personnel that maybe enjoy mm -hmm. the termination and things like that and and i had that experience when i worked for an organization where the um I don't know. He, I don't know if he was a hiring manager, but he was part of HR. And anytime there was going to be a layoff or something to that effect, he would be the person that would literally walk around, hand you a pink slip, an envelope with a pink slip in it. Yeah. But, but the, and and he was all in, and and you could really tell because, and and a lot of people commented on this that he would actually be smiling. Mm -hmm. He would be trying to hide a smile, yeah. but you could tell that this was part of that, this job that he enjoyed mm -hmm. that, that, and, and that went on for years until, and I was, you know, going from the organization and I heard later that when it came time for him to be walked out the door, to get handed the pink slip, I, I you could see it in his face. Oh, wow. This is what, this is it, what it feels like. Yeah, and, like. And, and, and that was, I think, and kind of to your point, that was a defining moment for him to understand the impact that he was making on other people's lives by enjoying that part of his job. And, and, you know, so yeah, be careful what you go all in on or, right. or how much you're willing to give, you know, cause he's, they probably, yeah. uh, exactly. You, you know, to go out there and say, Hey, you're laid off, have a good life. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, just what it took probably for him to just accept that, go home and eat dinner. Like it was no big deal and not see again the impact it had on all those families that that mm -hmm. you know were being affected by that layoff so uh again you go all in but at what cost you yeah. know do you give up part of yourself to go all in and you know and and go as far as you want but then also uh when they and you said this at the very beginning you know you're sometimes a number in an organization mm -hmm. so we got to the point where it was his turn and, and so you're no longer that important yeah. or valuable piece of the cog anymore. And now you're and, being And we're set actually getting aside. into kind of like organizational culture, which is also right. an important thing to consider. I mean, you know, we've, we've skirted the subject of DEI. We're going to continue to do that. But from an organizational perspective, you know, it's one thing to say you're doing something. We're a great company at this. But are you actually following through with it? Is the quality right. aspect there? Is the buy-in aspect there? Or are you checking a box? Right. You know, and it's not to diminish companies because there's a lot of challenges out there for companies to maintain certain standards. But with that, if you have the right type of commitment, the right teams, it becomes ingrained that that's just the the, the normal operating mode, and and it can be a positive or negative thing. You know, right? Like um, you know, short term projects where you know you, I've had to work you know days on end without weekends off, and you know, giving up holidays and birthdays and stuff like that, and it's was it worth it? I, I don't know. I mean, I, right. part of me thinks it is. And part of me looks back saying, wow, I missed some opportunities there. 
but we wouldn't be who we are today, you know, and it gets back to, you know, how far are you willing to go? We also have to realize that this means we're not taking stuff for granted, you know, right. like, yeah. you know, um, I'm, I'm going to go to one class one and, and go one day and I'm going to be a, you know, a neurosurgeon or an astronaut. Well, that's probably not realistic and maybe right. not safe. <laughs> right. No, but again, I, I'll kind of refer back to the statement that I always, you know, give people or encourage them to think about is, you know, you you say you're going all in on this organization, for example. Um, so you, like you say, you give up weekends, you give up holiday, all those things. Um, and that's what your motivation is. That's where you're, you're, you're given all to that organization. What happens if again, kind of the same scenario, you get laid off. Mm -hmm. Where do you get sold? Or exactly. And, and now you no longer fit. So have you been preparing yourself to, mm -hmm. for just in case that happens? And, that, and that's the thing I always try to remind people of, you know, you may be in an industry, you may be in an organization that's been standing the test of time. You've been, you know, everything's been great. It's been profitable and all those types of things. So you haven't had to consider what if. Mm -hmm. And so I would still, uh, as you're thinking about going all in or or how how far you're going to go, you also have to consider that things could change um, yeah. just in one day, one hour. Like yeah. you say, a company could be sold uh, and, and they dismantle the whole organization. And so now you're going out the door. So, again, when we think about how far you're willing to go, it should be a, a you know, a thoughtful uh process it shouldn't be a just oh yeah i'm going to jump right in but but really consider what you're giving up what what yeah. sacrifices you're going to have to make the things you're going to need to do to maintain this mm -hmm. going all in or, right. or uh, again yeah give it the best of your ability maybe it's 50 percent or 60 percent because you still had to it, like dave said it earlier too you know that work-life balance uh, yeah. it, it's I was it's just gonna say you know we've talked a lot about the professional side but Right. These same principles and, and and ideas and comments apply to a personal relationship, whether that's a personal relationship with yourself, being honest with yourself, understanding how far you're willing to go in a relationship with right. a significant yeah. other, with family, with your with your with your children, with you know, your friends, with your network, right. your personal professional network. You know, so from the personal side, how is that going to affect you as a personal? Because I've heard people say in my career, uh Oh, well, it's, it, it's, it's two separate things, right? Well, it is, but it's not, you know, how many people bring that stuff home, you know, the, yep. the stuff from uh, at work home to their personal environment and vice versa. So Absolutely. I would argue that you can't necessarily switch that separate, turn, yeah. turn, turn, turn it completely off. You might be right. able to dim it a little bit, but you can't switch it off because it's, it, it's just not it's not likely that, that it's going to be successful. There's always going to be those underlying currents that float through right. because you're one individual, not two individuals. Yeah. So, you know, think about the the personal impacts on yourself and those around you on the personal side. Are you giving too much to this relationship? Is the relationship not giving you enough back? You know, is it positive or is it a negative relationship? Same with the, you know, the, uh, the work environment, you know, how far are you willing to go or should right. you go? Right. You know, should you give up yourself in a personal or professional relationship and totally lose yourself for that company or that other person or that other relationship? So right. you know, these are things that, that we cannot answer. We can just pose to our audience to say, hey, when you think, when you know, when you say you're all in, what does that mean? How, when you say right. you're willing to go, however far, how far are you really willing to go? Right. Well, Dave, uh, you did a good job of kind of, um, recap. So you, so it, <laughs> well, I was just going to ask, uh, you know, we're getting close to time. So is there anything else that you'd like to leave our audience with on the topic? How far will you go? Um, I, I'm just going to bring back the fact the, uh, that we've said it so many times, you know, really get to know yourself on both sides on a personal and professional perspective and just really do that critical self-reflection and be honest with yourself and be honest with those around you. You know, like you said, don't you know maybe it shouldn't be an after the fact conversation <laughs> right 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 should be a little bit more engaged right there. so um yeah. yeah all right well well thanks for that dave and uh i won't i won't uh again uh, go and open up any newer conversations or anything like that but but again it really does start with uh really knowing um, how much you're willing to sacrifice all those things that, that come into play when you're making these, making a decision 
uh, again, if it's whether it's moving or giving up some things that you um, value right now, um, and it may just be a means to an end. But again, are you, are you going to be sacrificing too much? Uh, are you going to be giving away too much? So it still really comes down to you, uh, where you're trying to go. Um, and but really thinking about what that really looks like. So again, that critical self reflection, that that self awareness. You're setting those limits and and boundaries in addition to your goals. So I'll end it there. Um, so we we would just like to thank you all for tuning in again. We're into season three. We didn't really make a big fuss about it, but but it is season three. Uh, and again, we we still kind of it's still kind of on a, a high or riding this high thinking, wow, we're into season three, over a hundred episodes. So uh, we, we, and again, enjoy doing this. So hopefully we can continue to do this in the year 10 beyond. Um, so with that, uh, we want to thank you for tuning in, but we want you to continue being your not so ordinary you.